All living things require matter and energy. Matter is anything that has mass and volume and is described with the periodic table of elements. Energy is the ability to do work. The energy used by living organisms comes from the sun. That energy is used to organize matter into living tissues. Once that energy is captured and stored in chemical bonds, that chemical energy can be transferred from one organism to another through consumption. An energy pyramid illustrates how energy is transferred in an ecosystem. Producers, also called autotrophs, always occupy the lowest level of an ecological pyramid because they first convert the sun's energy into chemical energy, making their own food. All other organisms are called heterotrophs because they must consume other organisms to acquire energy. The trophic level above producers is occupied by primary consumers, or herbivores. These organisms eat plants or algae. The next level up is composed of carnivores, called secondary consumers. These are organisms that prey on herbivores. Subsequent trophic levels are termed tertiary consumers, quaternary consumers, and so on. Notice that the energy present in each trophic level decreases as the levels go up. Can you think of a reason why? An animal like, eats like a uh, plant, and they use some of the energy to so, like, as to, like for them to move. But like, then they store some as fat, which like the other animals eat, and that's what they get from it. Like Noah explained, most of the energy present in a particular trophic level does not get passed on to organisms in the next level, because organisms use energy for cellular processes, and energy is released to the environment as heat every time energy gets converted. Only about 10% of the energy gets passed on from one trophic level to the next. About 